Hi, so I'm KB with Nerdophiles. How are each of you? Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> okay, so let me dive right in because this is publishing after the final two episodes premiere this Friday. So I'm going to get down to business. Which one of you is the mole? And did the other two of you replay everything in your mind kind of over and over again once you found out? So first, mole, please reveal yourself. <laughs> All right. <laughs> the mole. Oh, I genuinely am surprised. Like, I did not know it was you. There were certain moments that I felt like everyone was trying to kind of throw each other off, you know? So it's kind of, it was very hard to tell who was the true ball, but girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. So let me start with Joy then. Joy, did you kind of, once you found out that Kazi was the mole, did you replay everything over and over kind of again in your head? Yes. My gut at the end was telling me to choose Kasi because we worked several or a couple missions together mm -hmm. and she was openly sabotaging. But I, oh my goodness. Um, the second to last quiz, I went heavy on Will with the sprinkle mm -hmm. of Kazi, which advanced me to the, the final round. Um, and I was like, I'm, I'm going to choose her. But I thought Sandy went home on a Kasi vote, but I got my weeks mixed up. And so that threw me off there. Never saw this guy taking notes. I thought Will was there to act like the competitor. I thought it was a diversion tactic. And yeah, and it bit me in the butt, but I had an amazing time and congratulations to this guy. Oh my goodness. So Will, when you found out that Kazi, because to be fair, Joy, you're right, especially with the pigeons. The pigeons is really what got me. I was like, now you are Kazi. too firm on this pigeon that Kazi. don't look nothing like Do the it. description. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness but for you will did you kind of follow bird <laughs> <laughs> i know but, but for you will did you kind of replay moments with kazi in the back of your head like oh 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 yeah like i'm, I'm just gonna be completely honest from the very beginning she was in the top three mm. and it was about almost immediately halfway where i stopped i even stopped splitting like i was like it was pretty close where I, um i was all in on her and the funniest part actually for me was the opposite of that. It's sitting back and watching all these people vote for her as the most trustworthy in the group. And I was like, Th and I can't say eyes. anything. I, I can't say anything because then gives it away because I, I truthfully believe, like I didn't think anybody was on to her. And I was like, y'all are crazy. Like that she was able to go so under the radar and it's like people didn't want to believe that she was capable of all these things. So like, it's not her. Right, yeah. Ooh, Kazi, so how much fun did you have kind of playing into other people's thoughts, suspicions, you know, like their little alliances? Because people were still forming alliances, which I thought was kind of weird because this is a game like every man for himself, but there were still some alliances. So how much fun did you have kind of playing on everyone's kind of weaknesses, so to speak? I apologize, my love. I'm going to correct you. It's Kasi with an S. Oh, Kasi. I'm yeah. so sorry. Don't worry that it's confusing. On the show, it's, they switch. Um, but that's a great question. I think the... Hmm. I think the most fun part is when people started confiding in me and they would tell me who they thought they were suspicious of. And it was just such a wild moment to sit there and listen to someone tell you that they think they figured it out and to think like, oh man, like, you know, that's just not correct. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so those moments were really like just interesting and kind of fun to just be underneath the radar after you've already done so many blatant sabotage points. You said, ooh, that's just not correct. <laughs> I can only imagine kind of having everyone, you know, come to you and confide to you. And you're like, mm-hmm, mm. -hmm, mm. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. So, yeah. you definitely vote that. Right. I know, I know, right? So I have yeah, to that's say, crazy. that's what I was about to say. I have to say, Cassie, who was kind of your, your person that you decided, I'm going to try to push them towards the forefront because it kind of changes. But who initially were you like, this person seems like someone that I should put all of my my eggs in this basket and make people think it's them. Oh man, Joy for sure. Even Joy was is the most incredible player mole. 
Like, uh-huh. incredible. So I remember I knew that even with the bags, when we were choosing the bags for the mountain, mm-hmm. I definitely wanted Casey with the bag because Casey, oddly enough, was naturally very suspicious, even though she was really trying, but people just did not believe her. It's, it's so true. Mm-hmm. Like, when you watch it back, you're, that was my 50 <laughs> mode. Like, that was my 50 mode. And when you watch it back, you're just like, I don't trust you. And you're like, I don't know why. <laughs> It's true. Like now, I'm gonna have to rewatch the episodes and be like, "Oh, poor Casey!" Like you know, everybody was just like, "I don't, I don't know why," but you're like, "Listen yeah. to her sometimes, like please." And everyone was like, "No," you know, mm-hmm. <laughs> kind of like, oh, "Okay," but yeah. Oh my goodness. Well, it was such a thrill ride. I mean, congrats to all three of you for even just making it to the top three because I felt like that was no small feat at all. And again, oh my gosh, I do apologize for the the pronunciation of your name. Listen. I have um, a challenging name that people mispronounce all the time. So it is like, I I truly apologize. Um, And just thank you to the three of you for taking time to chat with the Nerdophiles. So really appreciate it. Thank you for your time. Thank you so much.